Hello everybody. This video calls for a drink. I'm on the Milky Stout again. Cheers everybody. The reason for me starting this video, drinking beer, is I suppose you could call this um, somewhat of a celebration video. I have um, been gifted a record by a gentleman by the name of Jim. He contacted me not long ago um, and he said, do you have such and such a record? I believe you're looking for it. I said, that's right, yeah. And he said, um, well, I've got a copy. I'd like to send it to you. So, um, I suppose I'm still in shock, really. Even, ever since he, he said that, he, he we've spoken a little bit and he has commented on a lot of my videos over the last few years, probably. And he just said to me... Um, without going into too much detail, um, that watching my videos kind of helped him through a period in his life, you know, and he wanted to send me this as a sort of a thank you. And um, <laughs> honestly, to God, you know, I make these videos and my, my job on these videos is to talk, you know, and I enjoy talking. You ask any of my friends, I enjoy talking, but Honest to God, sometimes I am just lost for words. This record he sent me is a huge grail, if not the holiest of grails. And for a lot of people, a lot of you people who are collectors uh, like I am watching this video, um, you can hear it playing in the background. That's the CD version. But um, Jim sent me this. nineteen ninety five OG press of death symbolic I kind of feel like Thomas on Merciful Metal when he shows his grails and it I know exactly how he feels. I enjoy watching his videos and his reactions and that it sums it up. This is um Death's sixth, sixth, sixth album featuring Gene Hoagland on drums, uh, Bobby Colbull on guitar, or Coelbull, and Kelly Conlon on bass. This is the one um, when Relapse reissued um, all of Death's other albums in 2020. This is the only one that's missing. You can buy them all on CD, but this is the only one put out by Roadrunner originally. This is the one that everybody is struggling to get. They did a, a repress, a white vinyl version, which a few of my friends have got. Excuse me. Well, this is the original 1995 press. There's the inlay. Lyrics on that side. Lyrics and a thanks list on the other side. And here it is, here's the vinyl. Oh, it's just a thing of beauty. You can see it's got a few marks on there. Jim had said to me, listen, it's not perfect. It's got a few scuffs and a few dings. It's, you know, it's over 25 years old. Um, but I'd still like to send it to you. And I was like, absolutely, mate, I have got no problem with a few scuffs. I've got no problem with a few pops and crackles. It's part of what tells a story. You know, the album's life, it's lived a life. And I like that, you know. Yeah, we all like those minty fresh copies. 
especially if you're buying them. Um, but you know, when, when something's a gift from somebody, um, just so so very generous and so very kind, Jim. Um, honest to God, my mind is blown. This is this is a record that I never thought I would own and have in my collection. And to have this in my collection now is just just unbelievable. And you know, I've been a collector for you know getting on for 35 years now, probably 35 years, and things like this and gifts that people send me it's not just about the music anymore you know this is something that i'll remember forever you know and it is with a lot of vclts that people send me the, the thoughtfulness and the kindness that goes into it, it, it it's it, i've got so many albums and music in my collection now since i joined the vc that people have sent me that I've always got that attachment to them and that makes it almost priceless, you know. But um, what an album this is. This is Death at their sort of more progressive end. You know, you can see by the logo there, look, they've lost everything on the logo except for the the Grim Reaper or the Witch's Head, whatever it is, and the uh, Scythe there. But um, it's a fabulous album. This is... You know, after individual thought patterns, this is a little bit more of a polished work, I think. But, uh, you know, the, the song Crystal Mountain, what a tune that is. And what a set of musicians. But um, I'll show you the vinyl once again. Those little labels there. And the inlay sheet there. Obviously, I keep the vinyl now in a polylined uh, bag, but um, just incredible, incredible. Thank you so much, Jim. Um, it arrived safe and sound. Cheers, mate. Really appreciate it. And this video is another example of what a truly amazing community this really is um death symbolic og 1995 press just unbelievable emotionally unbelievable really it's just incredible that's it guys i'm not gonna go on there's a CD version playing in the background. I'm not going to go on too much about it. I, like I say, you kind of you're constantly looking for superlatives and, and words, but all I can say is just, you know, to, to Jim, thank you very much, mate. Thank you, and um, thank you for thinking of me. And it makes my day, honestly, to know that you enjoy my videos, and, and that would make you want to do something like this for me. Appreciate it. And as always, to you, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know maybe a bit of a more of a personal kind of video this one really, isn't it? Because this is truly sort of a, a special thing for me to receive. But um, I really do appreciate you watching, taking the time out of your day. I'll be back again soon with another video. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye for now.